What's up, gardeners? Today I am going to show you how to get free bananas for life. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to remove a baby pup from the mother banana plant. That way you can go and plant as many banana trees as you want. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to take a banana pup from the mother plant and then take that pup and plant it wherever you want to have more banana plants. So here I am in front of, you can see this is a banana pup that's coming up. Back here behind this bed of bare grass uh, was the mother plant. It's fruited and it's gone now. Um, but I was doing some trimming here over the weekend and I realized, hey, I have a banana pup here. One thing about bananas, and I have a video all about growing bananas, you can check it out up here, but bananas need sun. So this was not getting enough sun. Uh, it wasn't growing very well. So I'm gonna transplant this to another location. So a few things to know about bananas and how to propagate them. Bananas, generally, you're not gonna take a seed and you're not gonna plant it in the ground and boom, you're gonna have a banana. That's not how you propagate them. Bananas actually aren't a tree at all. They have an underground corm, an underground system. And once a banana stalk comes up and fruits, that banana stalk is useless. It's gonna die, it's no good. So what the, what the corm does is it's constantly sending up new shoots and those shoots after 8 to 13, 14 months will produce a bunch of bananas. But once they produce those bananas, like I said, it's dead. So a banana corn will send up multiple shoots, multiple pups. One rule of thumb, at least the way I like to do, I never like there to be more than three or four pups or stalks growing at the same time. The reason for that is because if you have too many growing, the corm or that underground system is not going to be able to supply enough nutrients to grow big, awesome, nutritious, healthy bananas. So never allow more than, like I said, three or four pups to be growing. One cool thing about this is once you have one banana plant, it's going to produce enough pups to where you can cut them out, propagate them, plant them over there, plant them over there, plant them over there. After a few years, you have more banana stalks, more banana trees than you know what to do with. Okay, so now let's get in here. I'm gonna show you how I cut it out. It's actually very simple, but I wanna give you the visual so you see it, so you can go and do it on your own. So if I get in here, the mother plant is actually, you can see the old stalk that has since died, but it's right here. And there's actually, you can see there's another pup coming up right here, it's very small. It looks a little rotted because we've gotten lots of rain lately, but it's right here. So I know that the corm is over in this direction. So what we want to do with this pup right here is we want to separate it from the corn. And we do that by simply cutting it out with the shovel. So it's a little hard back here because there's not a lot of space, but I'm just going to put my shovel right in between. And without hitting not too worried about the old banana stalk because it's gone and dead, but I'm just going to cut down in here until I get through and slice that corm off. And you can hear that once I got through the corm, you could actually hear it snap. This is a better angle for me to get down in there. Once you separate that corm, it's actually pretty easy. You can see there it's already moving. So then from there, you just slowly go around and underneath the whole thing. And we're just slowly digging it out. There's, it's connected to the corn, but it also has roots that it's spreading out as well. And if it wasn't back here in such a tight space, it would already be out. Boom. <clears throat> and it popped. So let me pull it out here. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can see here this flat part and this white part. That's where it was connected to the corm. It was connected to the mother plant, that underground system. And then you can see all the roots it was trying to send off on its own. And actually, if you look here, it looks like this at one point was trying to be a pup, but it looks like it rotted. So at this point, I'm not gonna show you how I plant it, because I have many other videos about planting, 
but remember like with all trees everything else you plant don't plant it too deep you don't want to plant it deeper than it was initially in the ground also one word of advice when it comes to bananas they don't want tons of water initially until they've had time to spread out their roots these things are full of tons of water if you give them too much water they will rot so once you initially plant it keep it moist don't let it dry out but don't water it too much or else it will rot one other thing that i'm going to do before i plant it is i am going to cut off all of these leaves every single one i'm going to cut off that is because i don't want the banana plant now that it's not connected to the mother corm and it doesn't have that system feeding it and supporting it and it's going to have to start spreading out its own roots and growing for itself initially i don't want it having to give nutrients and energy to these leaves so we're going to cut off all the leaves then we're going to plant it and with time the leaves will grow back all right guys so that's it that's how once you have one banana plant you can have many others by simply propagating it like this by cutting out the pups. As I said before, I have a video all about growing bananas. You can check it out here. That will give you all the things you need to do after you cut out the pup and plant it. Happy growing, guys. I hope you go and plant tons of bananas because bananas are fun, they're tropical, and they taste really good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.